Welcome to the Psychology and Physical Training Channel. Introduction and Engagement Have you ever felt a sudden rush of overwhelming fear and anxiety? It's a sensation that can grip anyone anywhere and at any time. These feelings are not uncommon, they're part of the human experience. But what happens when they become too much to bear? When they start affecting our daily lives, our relationships, our very essence? That's where we begin our journey today, exploring the realms of anxiety and depression. These are not just mere words or mere conditions, they are complex mental health issues that impact millions of lives globally, and it's not just those who are directly affected who need to understand them. It's everyone. Because understanding promotes empathy, and empathy breeds support, it's a chain reaction that can change lives, maybe even save them. In today's discussion, we will delve into the complexities of anxiety and depression, understanding their symptoms, causes, and effects. So, let's take a step forward towards understanding, towards empathy, and towards support, understanding anxiety. Anxiety is more than just feeling stressed or worried. It is when these feelings don't subside and are ongoing without any particular reason or cause. Let's delve into the world of anxiety to understand it better. Anxiety isn't just a single condition, it's a complex constellation of feelings and symptoms that can impact every aspect of a person's life. The key symptoms include excessive worry, restlessness, and difficulty concentrating. Imagine a constant feeling of unease like a shadow that follows you around, even when there's no clear or immediate threat. That's what anxiety can feel like. Excessive worry is often the hallmark of anxiety. It's not just about worrying over day-to-day -day matters, but it's a kind of worry that's persistent, seemingly uncontrollable, and often out of proportion to the actual situation. From work, school, health to relationships, the worry can encompass various aspects of life, making it difficult for the individual to relax or quieten their mind. Restlessness is another significant symptom. It's a feeling of being on edge, of not being able to sit still or focus. It's like a constant sense of agitation or discomfort, making it challenging to find peace or calm. Difficulty concentrating or finding that your mind goes blank is also a common experience for those with anxiety. It's as if the worry and restlessness crowd out everything else, making it hard to focus or think clearly. Anxiety also comes in different forms. There's generalized anxiety disorder, characterized by chronic and excessive worry. Panic disorder, where a person experiences recurring and unexpected panic attacks. And then there's social anxiety disorder, where everyday interactions cause significant worry and self-consciousness. Each of these types has its own specific symptoms and triggers, but they all share the common thread of excessive, persistent worry and fear. Understanding the symptoms of anxiety is the first step towards managing it effectively. Remember, it's not about eradicating anxiety completely, that's impossible, and frankly, not desirable since anxiety does have its evolutionary benefits. But it's about learning to manage and control it so that it doesn't control you. The causes and effects of anxiety. Anxiety doesn't just happen, it's usually a combination of things that build up over time and cause this condition. Imagine a pot of water on a stove. As the heat gradually increases, the water starts to simmer until it reaches a boiling point. This is how anxiety often manifests. It is not a sudden occurrence, but a culmination of various factors that intensify over time, leading to this mental health condition. Let's start with the genetic factors. Like many other mental health conditions, anxiety can be inherited. Research suggests that individuals with a family history of anxiety are more likely to develop the condition. Next, we have environmental influences. These include stressful life events, such as the loss of a loved one, a traumatic experience, or even prolonged stress at work or school. These circumstances can act as catalysts, triggering the onset of anxiety. Personal triggers also play a significant role. These are individual-specific and can range from certain phobias like the fear of heights or spiders to more complex issues like financial insecurity or relationship problems. But how does anxiety affect one's daily life? Well, it's like living with a constant sense of impending doom. It can impact personal relationships, making it difficult for one to connect with others due to the constant worry and fear. It can also affect productivity, as the mind is often preoccupied with anxious thoughts, making it challenging to focus on tasks at hand. Anxiety can also have detrimental effects on overall health. 
it can lead to physical symptoms such as headaches, stomach issues, and sleep disturbances. Over time, these can contribute to more serious health problems like heart disease. Remember, anxiety is not just in the head. It's a real, tangible condition that impacts every facet of a person's life. But it's also important to remember that it's manageable. With the right knowledge, support, and professional help, individuals suffering from anxiety can lead fulfilling lives. Anxiety can be debilitating, but with the right knowledge and support, it can be managed. Understanding depression, Depression is more than just feeling sad or having a bad day. It's a serious mental health condition that affects how you feel, think, and handle daily activities. Let's delve into the symptoms of depression. They can be diverse and affect individuals differently, but there are some common signs to watch out for. Persistent sadness or a feeling of emptiness is one of the most notable symptoms. It's not just about feeling down, it's a continuous sorrow that lingers and seeps into every aspect of your life. Another symptom is a loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed. This could be anything from hobbies, social events, or even simple daily tasks like eating or sleeping. The things that once brought you joy no longer seem appealing, and this lack of interest can lead to a decreased level of energy or motivation. Depression can also manifest itself through feelings of worthlessness or excessive guilt. Individuals may harshly criticize themselves for perceived faults and mistakes, further feeding the cycle of depression. Now, it's essential to understand that depression isn't one size fits all. There are different types of this condition, each with its unique characteristics. Major depressive disorder, for instance, is characterized by a persistent feeling of sadness or a lack of interest in outside stimuli. The world may seem colorless and devoid of joy. On the other hand, persistent depressive disorder, also known as dysthymia, lasts for at least two years. While the symptoms might not be as severe as major depression, they are long-lasting and can significantly hinder your ability to function normally. Then there's bipolar disorder, which is characterized by periods of extreme lows or depressive episodes and extreme highs or manic episodes. These dramatic shifts in mood, energy, and activity levels can make daily life a roller coaster. Depression can be a heavy burden, but understanding its symptoms is the first step towards lifting that weight. By recognizing these signs in ourselves or our loved ones, we can seek help and start the journey towards healing and recovery. The Causes and Effects of Depression Depression isn't a sign of weakness or something you can just snap out of. It's a complex interplay of genetic, biological, environmental, and psychological factors. Depression, like many mental health conditions, doesn't have a single cause. It's thought that a variety of elements come together to trigger its onset. Studies suggest that a genetic predisposition could make certain individuals more likely to develop depression. That means if depression runs in your family, you may be at a higher risk. But it's not just our genes that play a role. Biological factors, such as an imbalance in brain chemicals or hormonal changes, can also contribute. For instance, postpartum depression is a type of depression that can occur in women after giving birth, believed to be influenced by the rapid hormonal changes that take place during this time. Life stressors are another significant cause. This can include a traumatic event, prolonged stress at work, the loss of a loved one, or any major life change. These events can trigger feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and a loss of interest in activities once enjoyed, hallmarks of depression. Now let's delve into the effects of depression. It's important to understand that depression doesn't just affect one's mood. It can take a toll on physical health as well. Those with depression may experience changes in appetite and sleep patterns, fatigue, and even physical pain. Depression can also strain relationships. It can be challenging for loved ones to understand what someone with depression is going through, leading to feelings of frustration and helplessness on both sides. This can create a cycle where the person with depression withdraws further, exacerbating their symptoms. And lastly, depression can significantly impact one's quality of life. It can make daily tasks seem insurmountable, dampen the ability to experience joy, and even lead to thoughts of suicide. Depression can cast a large shadow over one's life, but with understanding and support, it's possible to step back into the light. Let's remember, depression isn't a life sentence. It's a condition that can be managed with the right treatment and support. Encouragement. Anxiety and depression are not battles to be faced alone. They are shared struggles that many of us face, and there is strength in numbers. 
professional help is available, and it's important to remember that reaching out is not a sign of weakness, but rather a step towards recovery. Therapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, and counseling can provide valuable tools to manage and overcome these conditions. Moreover, if you notice someone around you showing signs of anxiety or depression, don't hesitate to reach out. A simple conversation can make a world of difference. Encourage them to seek help and remind them that they are not alone in this fight. Remember, it's okay not to be okay, and it's okay to ask for help. There is always hope, and every new day brings the opportunity for a fresh start. Remember, understanding is the first step towards healing. Together, we can make a difference in the fight against anxiety and depression. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and follow the Psychology and Physical Training channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.